After a long and relentless winter, spring has finally sprung forth, giving us tons of excuses to enter Back with us with their ABCs for spring party planning is lifestyle expert Nicole Young. Hello. Good to have you back around. Good to be back. I'm so happy spring is here. My wife and I Finally. love having people over. We love having cookouts, everything else. But you've got some ABCs for us on how we should start thinking about our parties. That's exactly right. Now that we can finally start to see winter in the rear view, oh, yeah. all these excuses to entertain in the spring, it's easy to do it. I say break it down into the A, the B, B and the C. And the C. So A, we start off with atmosphere. Sphere, yeah. Okay. Now, entertaining, decorating for spring can be easy, can also be affordable. It's all about adding in accents. You want bright pops of color, orange, yellow. I like to mix in gold and metallics because yeah. I think it just gives you that feel of like sunshine, sunburst. I do too. Very bright and inviting. Exactly. You don't have to spend a ton of money. I found all this great stuff at Home Goods. You know, the entire place setting under $20. Under for all of it? For all of it. Wow. The candle, this three set of candle holders is about under $10. This little jar, beautiful little accent. You could put candies in there. That's yep. under $5. I like to do fun things like roll up your napkins and put your utensils in a fun basket in a bright color. Right. That just kind of also adds to the atmosphere. And those are very, very, very cute. Yeah. And what's great about these accents is that you can also use these all year round. Some of these colors will work you right through the summer, through the holidays, next season. So you can get a lot of use out of this stuff without breaking the bag. Very nice. I'm going to sample the little chocolate candy. Why don't right you here. do that? <laughs> so, speaking of what I'm doing right now, if A is for atmosphere and accent, B is for? B is for bites. Bites. And I like to do the bites in bite-sized vessels, like I all of this. I love the single serving stuff. Isn't that cute? Mm -hmm. So this is a fresh. Now, chives are really, really at their peak in the spring. Okay. And you know that's the breakout star of the onion family anyway. Well, totally. Everyone it really is. Chive. Everyone knows that. So in terms of what you want to incorporate into your menu, use the freshest, most seasonal ingredients. So this is a lemon chive pesto mm. that I have in here with just some steamed shrimp. Super easy. You have the dip right there in the bottom. Which is nice also because people that don't have to hover around the tray, exactly. they can take one and go and mingle and And there's chat. no double dipping either. No double dipping. I hate that. Don't double dip don't with the Don't double chive. dip. And then what is this little so beauty? So this is my chilled golden potato salad. It's got a fresh chive vinaigrette. Trust me, when you serve this, this is one of those wow dishes that yeah. people are going to be like, what? You'll never serve that stuff with the uh, mayonnaise again as oh, yeah. far no, potato salad. No, this gross. is where it's at. We're actually going to make it right now. Oh, we are good. Okay, we are. Well, guys, tell me, where'd you get the forks? Aren't these so are plastic, cute, but they City. look like they're metal. I got these at Party uh, but these City. Are, like, I love so these. Cool. All these little mini things came Tiny from there. Tiny little forks. They're plastic, and they look so great. Isn't that great? You love just it. chuck them when you're done. All right, here we go. Okay, so you Last are going to finish your M&Ms, and how are you going to make this potato salad? So right. this is some undressed, just cooked yellow potatoes. Okay. Bring them down to room temperature. In this bowl, you have equal parts lemon juice, vinegar, and olive oil. Great. So I'm going to have you add in what's right here. So All this right. is some chives. Chive. Da, da, into the... Into oh. that liquid. Da, mm -hmm. da, da. Grab the mustard right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Get on out here. Why don't we Give me one of those forks that we were just speaking, and we'll... Put that in there. Now grab your whisk. Okay. And start whisking together those ingredients so it's well blended. Okay. So you want to whisk that together. As soon as you see it start to marry. Yeah. There you go. And drizzle it over the potatoes. Not the whole thing. Let's see. Put some over it. Coat it. Okay. Yeah. Give it a little bit of a toss. Mix that around a bit, yeah. Now, you would refrigerate that for about two hours because you want to serve okay. it chilled. You want yeah. it to sort of, you know, congeal and come together. And then it's going to look kind of like this. So why don't you try it? Take Absolutely. a sample. Absolutely. Oh, I sure think. will. I sure will. I'm, I'm normally not a potato sure. dish kind of guy, but because you mm. didn't put all the mayo on it, I'm yeah. going to go. Mm. Wait. Mm. What do you think? Oh, it's so nice? good. It's so good. It's light. It's refreshing. It's flavorful. And it's got the freshest ingredient of the season, the chives it's in there. It's got the chives. All right. Now we're going to get to the cocktail. We've done our B. We've done our bites. And C is for? C is for cocktail, Cocktails. of course. Love it. What are we making? So we're doing a mango martini. Mm-hmm. Now, in the shaker, we're both going to make it. Okay. Here's one for you, one okay. for me. Great. I've gotten here some orange juice, a little bit of fresh mango puree, because mangoes are also at their peak during the spring. Okay. Sorry for reaching over. Now I'm going to do about two ounces of punzone. This you bring is, the best I vodka. I bring the best stuff. This is the organic Italian vodka. You know I love this stuff. I do. I do. You make the Russians mad when you show up with Italian vodka. You know what? But There's I don't care. plenty of room for everybody <laughs> to do their vodka. I say the Italians do it best. Nice. I'm gonna add a little bit of ice. Yeah. Okay. Oop, that one fell out. Now cover the shaker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna shake it really well. Uh oh. Try not to make spillage. a mess, JD. That's why I'm shaking over here because I know that I'm the <laughs> kind of guy that spills his martini everywhere. Now take this off, pour the whole thing into the glass, including the ice. I kid you not, I can't. Oh, there we go. There you go. 
All right. There you go. Yeah. Now. Push it out, yes. And? Cheers. Cheers. Take a sip. Mango martini. Isn't that nice? Oh, that is so refreshing. Refreshing, yeah. light, spring, you can also day. A little garnish. Garnish with a little bit of mint in there. These are just some minis that I like to do. A little little mini cordial glasses with a straw. People will love it. I love it. Thank you, Nicole. Thank My you pleasure. so much. We will be, be right there. back. Cheers.